and welcome. Today we are going to be discussing about population mean and sample mean. In my last video, you all know that the population refers to all the items of interest in a study, while a sample is simply a subset of the population. So assuming we wanted to determine the mean height of individuals in Samaru community with 10,000 individuals, we could line up all those individuals and measure their heights, then find the mean. So we'll be finding the mean height, right? And since we obtain this mean height from the entire population, then what we have is called the population mean. And one thing for us to note here is that this is something we refer to as a parameter. A parameter is any measurable characteristic of a population. Now, because this mean height is a number concerning a characteristic of the population, we say it's a parameter. But measuring this with the whole population can be very tedious and sometimes even impossible. How do we get everyone in the community and then take their heights and then go and find the mean height? This may be doable. But definitely not an easy task and it's surely going to be expensive. This is where statistics comes to the rescue. We can do this in an easier way and still get our desired results. So what we can do is to take a subset of this population which is what we call a sample and we could take a sample of say 50 people from the population. Then we measure the heights of these 50 individuals and compute the mean. Now since we are doing the mean of the sample this is called the sample mean and this is what is referred to as a statistic and this is simply because it was obtained from the sample. A statistic is any measurable characteristic of a sample. Now let's go ahead and see how we can compute these two, the population mean and the sample mean. To start with, what do we understand by the term mean? The mean is simply the sum of all the values divided by the number of values. So for data that has not been grouped into a frequency distribution, meaning raw data, right? The population mean height is simply the sum of all the heights of the individuals in the population divided by the number of individuals in that population. Similarly, the sample mean height is simply the sum of all the heights of all the individuals in a sample divided by the number of individuals in that sample. Unfortunately, Writing all of these in words poses a problem, especially when it comes to more complex parameters or statistics, because it can just be too long to, or even cumbersome to describe a formula in words. So statisticians have come to the rescue here again. Statisticians have come up with a brilliant way to write out formulas for people so they can easily grasp and memorize using some particular symbols. It is even more convenient to use the shorthand symbols of statistics, as you will see. All you need to do is to understand the notations and you're good to go. So let's go into some notations here to make this easier to write. Let's start with the population mean formula. The mean of the population is represented by the Greek letter mu. So instead of writing out the mean of the population, once you write the letter mu, everyone in the whole world knows and understands that this is what you mean. <laughs> okay, pun intended. So we say mu is equal to sigma x. So sigma here means the sum of. So this just means the sum of all the values of x. Now, um... In statistics, x is used to represent the raw scores of any variable or the raw data values collected. So in our own example, x is the raw height of the individuals in the population. We usually like to write the list of values as i. So you will see i added as a subscript. So here we have sigma x subscript i and we now divide by the number of all the individuals in the population which is represented by the capital letter N. And to read the formula of any form of ambiguity, under the sigma, we write the range of values of X, but in their position. So the position starts from the value of I equals to one, i.e. the first position in the list. So from I equals to one to the last position on the list. And we know that there are 
n individuals in the list. So the last position will be equal to the number of individuals, which is n. So essentially what we are saying is the sum of all the values in the list of height values, which is x subscript i. From the first in the list, that's the i equals to 1, to the last in the list, which is equal to capital N, and divided by the number of individuals, which is n. Awesome, right? Now let's see that of the sample mean. This is very similar to the population mean. In the science of statistics, the parameter and the statistic are given different notation. The sample mean is denoted by x bar and this is equal to sigma x with subscript i and the whole stuff divided by the number of individuals which is represented as lowercase n for the sample. So here to under the sigma, we write the range of values of x from position 1 to the last position which is equal to the number of individuals which is the lowercase n. Essentially here what we are saying is the sum of all the values of the list of height values x subscript i from the first in the list which is i is equals to 1 all the way to the last value in the list which is equal to lowercase n and this is divided by the number of individuals in the sample denoted as n. Easy peasy, right? So for the population mean, assuming the sum of all the heights in the population of 10,000 people in Samaru community is 18,300 meters. So applying this formula, we will have 18,300 divided by 10,000 and that will be equal to 1.83 meters. So the population mean height is 1.83 meters, right? For the sample mean, for a sample of 50 individuals with these heights, 1.82, 1.51 etc, right? So the sum of all those 50 heights, I've calculated it, will give us 87 meters. Dividing this by 50 will give us 1.74 meters. Awesome. So our population mean is 1.83, while our sample mean is 1.74. Great. How then do we interpret these results? The sample mean can be used to represent the population mean, though it may not be very accurate, but it's just one of the best statistics to use to estimate the population mean. That's the best we can get. Now, if you look at our results, we can see that the sample mean is not exactly the same as the population mean, right? And this is due to what is called sampling error, which we'll be discussing in another video. A sample cannot be a perfect representation of the population. And so as we increase the sample size, the sample mean will approach the population mean. In other words, as the number in the sample increases, as n increases in the sample, as the small n gets closer to the capital N, the closer the statistic gets to the parameter. All right. Now it's your turn. Can you give an example of a parameter and its corresponding statistic? And put this in the comment section below. And please do not ignore because this serves as a feedback. In summary, the population mean is simply the sum of all the values for the individuals in the population divided by the number of individuals in that population. It is represented by mu. And because it's not always possible to determine the population mean, we use the sample mean. The sample mean is the sum of all the values of the individuals in a sample divided by the number of individuals in that sample. And it is represented by x bar. Lastly, the sample mean may not be exactly as the population mean due to sampling errors. Now, if you gain value in this video, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you will not miss any of my subsequent videos. In my next video, God willing, I am going to discuss the sample standard deviation and the population standard deviation. Thanks for watching.